turning now to the coronavirus, you may have noticed fewer people wearing masks when you're out and about. Mandatory mask mandates have expired in our parts. And while most of the U.S. getting ready to get back to normal, a local public health expert saying not so fast. Here's KQ2's Madeline McLean. As the weather warms up and COVID cases remain low, you may notice more and more people leaving their masks at home. But public health experts say it's too soon to be doing that in Buchanan County. Our vaccination rate is too low to leave your mask at home. In St. Joseph, it's a mixed bag. Some are wearing masks. My husband and I both were over, we're seniors. We're both 70 and over. And we do wear our mask when we go anywhere else. And, um... I, I think it's been good. Some say it depends on the situation. If I go into a store so like Walmart or that and a lot of people are wearing it, then I'll put it on. Yeah. Or some stores still say you have to wear them, yeah. like high V and that. So yeah. sometimes we do them when we feel like we need to. Others aren't or can't. I wear a mask if I have to, like I have to on the bus because I take the bus everywhere. But I don't if I don't have to because I have breathing problems and I feel like I'm suffocating. At the same time, the St. Joseph Health Department is reporting cases and hospitalizations inching back up. It shows that what we're doing is having a negative impact. It's not helping us. So if we can all just get vaccinated, it'll help keep our numbers low. It'll help keep our people safe. And we eventually will be able to get rid of our masks. The department director says less than 20% of residents have had at least one dose of a COVID-19 vaccine, much lower than the state's 49%. Edith Butner says she's too scared to get vaccinated. I haven't been vaccinated and I feel that it's our decision. Some residents hope people like Butner change their mind. We both got our shots, so I think it's a good thing. A lot of people are afraid of it. Most of my family's been vaccinated. Some of them are in health care. We had no trouble, and I think it's a positive thing. I think people need to get vaccinated. But until more people are convinced to get the shot... It's not safe, and I don't encourage people to go without a mask. And that was KQ2's Madeline McLean, the St. Joseph Health Department, hosting vaccination clinics on a weekly basis for the next five weeks. You can sign up on the city's Facebook page. Bradley's saying this is the health department's last-ditch effort to get people vaccinated. She warns starting next month, there will be fewer options about when and where you can get your shots.